For our next community conversation, we are joined by Kathy Kilday, program leader at the center. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, taking a little trip to the library, but no Dewey Decimal System required no for this, Dewey right? Decimal system. We have a tool library that's available. That's right. Well, um, the Seville Tool Library is a rather new um, organization in Charlottesville. We've been in business now for about two years, and it operates very much like a public book library, except with tools. So you check tools in and out of the library to take them home and use them. Uh, we have an information se session coming up at the center next week. So I wanted to talk with folks a little bit about it to tell, um, tell us about the program and um, invite them to come and join us. So let's go through, aside from the obvious, <laughs> what benefits can a tool library have, say for seniors, since we're talking about the center? Right. Well, um, a primary uh, concern for folks is aging in place. You know, sure. staying at home and, and being able to get the most out of your home when you're, while you're living there. And a lot of times people are in need of some basic home repairs or maybe they want to do a little work around the garden or, you know, things. But they don't want to go out and buy a no, new set of tools to do those things. That can get, that can can, get expensive, It too. can get very expensive and you can shift the burden of purchasing and maintaining those tools to us. Just come and borrow them when you want them, return them when you're done. All right, how have you found the reception? What have things been like in the <laughs> first two years? Obviously early for the program. Uh, pretty early, but we have uh, a little over 300 members now. Nice. I just looked at our stats this morning. We've had 3,500 loans in the wow. last two years. So a lot of tools going in and out. And this is a really busy time of year for um, homeowners and projectors who are, you know, get a little spring fever yeah. and want to go out and do a little cleaning up or they have projects on their, uh, on their, um, on their calendars. And that could be inside or outside. Inside or outside. <laughs> and one of the things we really enjoy about the tool library is it allows people to explore a hobby. If there's something that they think they might want to try to delve in, maybe woodworking or something in their garden, they don't have to make a huge investment in those tools to try it out. If they, you know, if they want to just come and borrow the tools and try it for a while. Um, if people are downsizing in their homes, and we know a lot of seniors are doing that, sometimes they have a, a, a shed or a basement that's full of tools that they don't know what to do with. They can donate those tools to the tool library, and we will see that they get used in the community. I expect obviously a success so far, <laughs> so there's a need for it. Uh, where can seniors go to learn more about this, and do you need to be a member to attend the session. You do not program. need to be a member. The uh, schedule um, session is next Tuesday, the 21st right. at four at, at the center. You can pre-register as recommended on the center's website. Uh, no cost to attend, and we'll be happy to tell people more when they get there. Oh, Kathy, appreciate it. What a great idea. Sure. We liked it. We Thanks were for coming in today to share Thank with you. us. Thank Casey? you.